Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here, bringing you the next episode in our Leicester City FIFA 15 career mode. Now, last episode, we got a bit frustrated, didn't we? We could have got a win, we should have got a win. And now we face Swansea, which is quite a difficult challenge. You can just see setting up all the scouting networks, making sure that everything's tipped up before we head into the matchup. So let's just see what we can do then. I mean, there will need to be a few more changes before we head into this away fixture. So you can just see there, Paul Koncheski maybe making his return. We've got Schlupp, who's apparently still starting at the moment. Matthew Upson makes his return to the squad after we had a shaky few games. Nice to see Cambiasso back and Lowe is still there though, injured. I mean, that's just heartbreaking. Knowing we have to start Nugent and Vardy. You know, Alou has been our top scorer. There's no other way about it. He's been dynamite, really. Okay, yes, he doesn't really have the physical prowess or the finishing of a top-class striker, but the height advantage he has is unparalleled, and it's great to see uh, that we've been able to utilise that in the early fixtures. And here's how the table looks going into this matchup. Eight games into the season, Swansea just hanging on there inside the top ten at the moment on 11 points. So a draw against these guys would be very good indeed. They're a very talented side. Bear in mind, you look at the side they put out down the bottom at the moment, and it's not a side that messes around. They have been known to spring a few surprises. They do get some shock results and they can be worthy of making some big finishes. We'll see what they can do here today as Matthew Upson looks to try and clear the danger early on. Another fatal flaw that we seem to have here with this Leicester save. But that is one hell of a three ball. And David Nugent, the chicken nugget, is going to really pull away with the blistering strike that goes over the bar. Oh, we've got some work to do. But nonetheless, though, he's still fighting for a spot in the first team, of course. And just by showing that flair and that intricity, it really is looking like he's vying for it. He wants that opening goal, and that could have been the opening goal of the game. I think we were very lucky that went wide. Even the salmon leaping Kasper Schmeichel may have struggled with that one. Ale on the side of the box. He's been here before. Goes for goal himself. And the keeper's able to see the ball just wide for now. However, they do concede the corner. So the bald man himself, the bald brigade, wings it in. And unfortunately for us, it's cleared away. So he's tried to absolutely drill one in to the forefront of our striker's feet. And unfortunately, gets cleared away. Now David Nugent to Jamie Vardy. He's got some support there. Decides to take him on himself. He's found some space. Gets a shot off and he misses a header. So David Chicken Nugget once again missing out. On what could have been his first goal. He's almost like a hopeless virgin, isn't it? Trying to pull in a nightclub. He's just struggling at all angles. Danny Drinkwater finds our bald brute. Cambiasso's yeah, got space of his own. And I'll tell you what, the opening 45 minutes have been very less to dominate it. We never dominate first half football. But we're really looking poised and ready here to take three points. Jamie Vardy sprints down the wing, outruns both defenders. Can he cut inside? No. But he does win the corner. So sneaky play there by Jamie Vardy. Now, can we get something from this corner? It's going to be Alley that swings one in. Drilled in towards the strike. It's landed at the feet of Greenwater. He makes the keeper. He makes a defender as well. And a little roly-poly celebration. Leicester. The underdogs here today go 1-0 up against Swansea. Fabianski can't believe it. Let's take a look at how the goal happened then. Missed the intended receiver on the head. And somehow Danny Drinkwater with the precision of a sewing machine finds a hole between not only the keeper but also the defender's legs to get Leicester one goal in front. Keith Sung Young now looking to try and find something. Leon Britton intercepted by giveaway De lot of penalties. And now Chicken Nugget finds Jamie Vardy in some space. Great vision there by the McDonald's man. And now, what can Jamie Vardy do? He's 1-1 one -on -one with a keeper. He's only got to flick it round. He's done so. It's 2-0 to Leicester. And the biggest winning margin we've had all season long. Leicester City are looking very, very good right now. He punches the corner flag, which I'm sure the groundsman will absolutely love. Because that's definitely not going to tear out the pitch or anything like that. But Jamie Vardy gets the ball in the back of the net. His second goal for Leicester. And really now starting to accelerate his career. Here at Leicester, obviously taking advantage of the fact that Ajo is not here at the moment. So being able to be put right into the spotlight and make some big plays. Now that was a big play, but Chicken Nugget gets on the end of it anyway. And look at the pace of him now. He's running away from the slaughterhouse. Finds Marez, who's standing in today for Michael Brighton. He's just having a bit of a rest just to see, you know, we need him for the bigger fixtures against the big four or top ten worthy teams. Swansea, whilst they're dangerous, I felt we could handle them without Michael Brighton. And bear in mind, we've already lost Cambiasso at one stage. We've lost uh, the big Leonardo Ajara as well. We don't want to lose Michael Brighton to injury. We need to keep him fresh and fit. So that's what we did. But we're still tuning up. 67th minute. There's a lot of game time left to play here at Swansea Stadium, but with Wayne Routledge pushing down the sideline, maybe looking for some support. It hasn't really come in, but it has there, and it's Nathan Dyer that's got the ball in and given Swansea a sign of life. The home fans are overjoyed. Leicester can't believe it, and there was almost a cheeky blow job there by Angel Rangel. 
And I'm sure we don't want to see a replay of that celebration, but the ball comes flicked in completely unintended. I think that was almost a panic cross, if anything, but somehow it's worked out for them. 75 minutes gone. We've just got to hold on to this one goal lead. We don't want to be pushing down the field looking for that two goal climactic winner again. We just want to make sure we walk away out of this with three points. And I'm not too sure if that was a strike or a miss hit or maybe he got distracted by some boobs in the crowd. But the ball comes in again to the head. And again, it's a goal capitalising on the dwarfism of Kasper Schmeichel. The header goes in and Swansea equalise. It's the captain Williams who finds the back of the net and our two goal lead has come crushing down. I feel like the Dallas Cowboys we've just choked but surely we're not going to go 3-2 down. Another header just misses its target and I'm sure Casper was wiping the sweat from his forehead there. Chicken Nugget making his way to the sideline now. Not his intended position as a bit of support in terms of Jamie Vardy but that ball was never going to find him. In fact that's about as much use as trying to kill Ebola with Cowpole but 86 minutes in we get a free kick and finally we're able to just try and conserve what should have been a three point game but it's in turn been a one point reward unless we can find a late winner here Jamie Vardy with some space some support down below bear in mind here comes Mares, the debutant, and he just flicks it a bit too wide and that could have been the winner in the 89th minute. That could have sealed us three points. And there's a reason that man regularly starts on the bench as opposed to on the right-hand side of the football field. But full-time here at Swansea Stadium. And it's a 2-2 draw. And against the top 10 team, we'll take a draw. I mean, it could be a lot worse. We just want to get ourselves a nice, solid season. And it's about consistency. If we can get an unbeaten run going, that will be absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. You can see the other results there. Full updates and everything coming next video. Be sure to let me know what you want to see. There will be some more FIFA Ultimate Team coming soon. I haven't really had time to play it, in all honesty. I find the thing is with that is that you need to be playing it so constantly to keep up with everything. Obviously, all the new Team of the Weeks and the transfer changes in terms of prices of players. Uh, the divisions evolve and of course everyone else is so oversaturated with Ultimate Team that career mode's a lot easier to focus on, but there is some more Ultimate Team coming. And then don't forget as well, we've got our Madden, NHL and MLB series that will all be making returns very shortly. So thank you so much for almost getting me to 80 subscribers. Hopefully I hit that milestone soon and I'll be sure to bring you guys more content very shortly.